So these folks did some research on folks who were part of the alt-right movement. And they asked them, so you've seen this kind of image, right? You've seen the image? On the left, obviously, are closest to the primates, the primates. And then this is the image of evolution. And you sort of go to the right, and people start walking up, right? And then you go to modern uh, homo sapiens. Okay? Cool? And then they ask, okay, where, what percentage? 100 is most evolved, absolutely evolved, you know, like right there where we need to go, meaning that you're not going to go any further. And zero is like, you know, it's like amoeba level, I guess, right? And so they asked, so these folks went out and they interviewed like 450 people from the alt-right movement who were part of the organization and talking to them, asking them lots of things because they were trying to figure out exactly who you are and what you are and what you think, Okay. And who, why are you so, in the words of the president of Penn State University, odious, repugnant? Why is it that the president of Penn State University would call your ideology odious and hateful and repugnant? Right? Why is that? How is that? Right? So these folks, they, this was a few, couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago or a month ago, I don't know when it was, but they said, well, let me at least go out and just find this out, see where people are. So they put a number here. So if, it, if the number's like 50 to Muslims, Muslim, that would be sort of like right here in the middle. You know, you're kind of like, yeah, you're, you're kind of, you're not really evolved, you know. And you would assume that white people were going to be higher on the scale by the alt-right people, right? So how white people are going to be the highest. Are we cool on that? You get it? You get how it works? So I don't know. I don't remember what their, what their number was. Maybe 98 or who knows. I have no idea. White people. But they put numbers to these folks. And I want you to pair up with people around you and come up with a number that you think they gave. These are folks in this movement. These are the folks that your president of the university said, nah, you're not coming to Penn State because it's dangerous to have you here and you're just kind of dumb. And this is a college campus. Well, he didn't say that. but Okay, so really fast. Pair up and come up with four numbers. That what you think, what number from 0 to 100 they gave Muslims, blacks, Mexicans, Jews. <laughs> pair up with anybody. What'd you guys say for Muslims? What do you think they said? This is not what you think. This is what the alt-right people said on average. Uh, probably five. Five? Yeah. <laughs> Muslims. What do, you, what do you think they said for blacks? What'd you guys say? 60. 60? What'd you, what'd you all say they said for Mexicans? Like 60s. 60s? They've ne obviously, they've never had enchiladas before. <laughs> That's pretty evolved food source. What do you think they said for Jews? What'd you all say? 40s. 40s. 40? All right, here's what they said. All right. <laughs> Jews, you can, you're, <laughs> Jews, those of you who are Jewish, you get sort of a, a boost because you're people of the book, you know what I mean? So uh, here's what they said. Now, white people, obviously, in the 90s, and you should know that on average, when we ask this, when we, this is a question that's regularly asked, lots of people. When we ask people, they generally say, and again, there's more evolution to happen, right? They generally say that they, everybody, every group falls in the high 80s to the 90s. So the alt-right folks are just scaling it way, way, way back. And that says something about like, where we're at here, okay?